Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. It's December 2nd, and we're combing the desert, and we ain't found shit. Well, actually, we found a few things. Alright, now, so we're gonna head over here to the left side of the fence here. There should be a treasure chest. I don't know if this is really worth the walk, because there's so many random battles, and they take so long. Especially when you're fighting those big snakes and birds and stuff. But it's definitely, like, if you're, you know, a steelaholic... Yeah, I'm probably just gonna run away from everything from here on out, because like, I got tied at this flea command. You can pretty much do that. This is such a big, huge area. Well, what I love about this is you can see, actually, another area of the desert from here. Yeah, and now uh, that's an area you can actually go to, which we will be heading right around there in just a second here. Because there's no, like, loading screen or anything here. And away we go. Now this here is pretty much my favorite area. Okay, boy, that took long enough, jeez. Uh, so there's another treasure chest over here. And this is like, this is the part of the desert where I would go and just leave the game on and sleep with it right there on the TV. Okay, another nice long battle there, holy crap. And, uh, and here over here you can see another, uh, one of these weird clues here. Which, uh, Oh, <laughs> but yeah, something about this little enclosed space here, this area, just reminds me of something, I don't know, it's just so peaceful. Bing, level 2 key sphere over here, and there should be, oh, oh, I see, jeez, it's down there. Okay, the treasure chest is down here, gee whiz, man. 10,000 gil, like I'm even gonna do that. Um, isn't there supposed to be a structure? Ugh. Well, let's see what we can do this time. Chocobo feather! Chocobo wing, damn! Those are pretty rare. If you can get those chocobo wings, like, god, the odds are so low of that happening, but... Here, hang on. Let's see, triangle, circle, uh, da, da, da. <laughs> Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! That's how it's done. <laughs> You're telling me! 12,000 experience for that, so. Yeah, definitely worth it if you can get them one of those, even though I only got three characters to get the experience, it was worth it. Just to have gotten them at all. Okay, I must be thinking of a different area, but yeah, what I'll do is I'll leave it on this camera. <sighs> Okay, so like I was saying, yeah, I would get it to where the camera was inside of here, and I'd just stand in here, and this is where I would leave it while I slept. Just, I don't know, something about the music here. There it is! That's what I was looking for. Another one? Boy, you find them a lot out here, don't you? Oh, man, I wish I knew a mixed formula. Oh, uh, maybe I do. Rolling Thunder! <laughs> Riku's gonna be the only one that gains the experience. And it's an overkill. I didn't even think about that. If it's an overkill, you get even more. Well, it's still 12,000. Maybe we got an overkill last time. Yeah, we did. Because normally they're only 8,000. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't remember having to multiply 12,000 by 1.5 in the past. <gasps> anyway. Anyway, there's the Albed Primer number 17, I believe that is. I was worried that I didn't get 14, but no, I got it. Okay, so it's a dead end here. I don't remember that being a dead end. I remember you could go up there. <laughs> That's weird. So one other thing I haven't mentioned yet about this recording is that I actually forgot to save after I finished the last recording. So, uh... So my levels might be a little bit different, like on the sphere grid and stuff. Uh, you know what? I used a few Albed potions in battle, so I might try to show, like, the effect of one of those. I just raised my sphere level in the last video, and now we're up to six again. It's amazing. Start getting them pretty fast. You might be able to see it now. There's another Albed Primer right here in the distance. Live and let die! So, uh... Albed Primer, volume 18. What I didn't mention also is a lot of these posts right here are like signs. And they say stuff in Albed like, this way to home. And, uh... I don't, there's really not much else to do here. 
you can explore those treasures and stuff, but I'm kind of like ready to just move on. I tell you. So I've been doing a little bit of stealing off screen, and I haven't really taken much time to really look at this. But uh, I just want to see what kind of stuff I can do now with uh, some of the stuff I have. You can customize piercing with level 2 key spheres. Smoke bombs are good for dark strike. Now that's actually... Man, I'd sure like to have that, actually. Is anybody, uh... Is there any way to tell if you got, like, something equipped? Wouldn't it say? Yeah. Which one does he have, actually have equipped, though? Probably that one. I wouldn't mind putting Dark Strike on Orin's weapon. Man. Maybe a small decrease in damage, but... Well, I don't even think I have one that I could put it on, so... <laughs> Never mind that. Well, except maybe that one. Frostblade. Damn, that sounds... that's kind of tempting, I tell ya. Well, what else can I do? I mean, let's just check it out. You could also, like... Since you can customize Dark Strike, you can also customize Dark Proof with the same thing, and it's a little bit cheaper. And that can be pretty nice to have, because dark happens a lot. Uh, silence proof if you have silence grenades. I'm stealing a lot of smoke bombs. You can steal three at a time from the big birds. And ice proof, arctic wind. That wouldn't be too bad to have either. Let's see what else we can do. Confuse proof, you need musk for that. <laughs> Berserk proof, you need high pillow potions. Stone, you need soft. Stone ward. Because soft you can buy at the store, so you would think you just put stone ward on everybody. You could do that, but... Stone doesn't happen to you often enough to justify it, really. Now that I have uh, six elixirs, I could customize HP plus 20 onto something. HP plus 20%, I mean, for five elixirs. Now, that's one of the decisions that you would have to make. Like, do you really want to do that? But that's like one of my... Yeah, you know, that was when I knew I loved this game, was when I had to make that decision, which I ended up not doing it, but... <laughs> Maybe I will next time, I don't know. Stamina Spring... Uh... Defense plus five. You can actually, that's a rare steal from the big worms. Otherwise, you can also steal, uh, shoot. Uh, what was the other? Oh, shadow gems, what you usually get from them. Initiative, you can use chocobo feathers to get that. Initiative means always get a first strike, or increase your chances for a first strike. And chocobo feathers can be stolen from the cactuars, but you can also steal, uh, a very rare steal from them is chocobo wing. You can customize auto haste, but it would take so long to get it, like, I wouldn't even bother. So, yeah, I can't remember what the shadow gems do, that's kind of bothering me. Maybe they're just good for mixing or something, I don't know. Anyway, so we got another big area here. Big ass area. Uh, wow. Look at this. <coughs> is that a new enemy? I do believe it is, but it's no different. You can basically still kill it in one hit. So, yeah. You know what, I'll, I'll go and show you the Albed Potions here. Uh, oh yeah. Well, jeez. Uh, skip your turn. This is how it works. Special use Albed Potion. And it's very handy. It heals 1,000 HP for each character. So that's good to have since Yuna's not in the party. It's very useful to have. And since there's so few things that multi-target in this game, which is extremely annoying, those are very nice to have. Now, there is actually an Albed Primer that you can miss earlier in the game from the, uh, out in the Thunder Plains. And if you do miss it, I think it's supposed to be, like, out here somewhere in East Samubia Desert is what they say. I mean, I'm not sure what where I'm at on time right now. I feel like I should be at, like, six minutes right now, but, huh, I don't know. It goes by pretty fast. Something's written here. Danger! Beware of sandstorms. Yeah, that's on the east side. We won't be able to do anything down there for a while. Do, 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 do. Now you can see something in the distance there. It looks like uh, a hole. And there's a treasure chest there. And it falls into the hole. How peculiar. What the heck? Something comes out of the hole. It's a giant one of those things. Oh boy. That's not good. Well, what can we do? Let's see. Let's start with a delay attack for all the good it'll do. That healed him? Oh yeah, he has water strike on his weapon. Okay. So water heals him. Don't want to do that. Let's see, what can we steal? Musk times 10? Are you serious? I had no idea. I can't believe I haven't tried to do that before. Musk times 10? Do it again. Usually if you can steal it once, you can steal it again. 
You can steal it up to four times, actually, anything from an enemy. But by the time you've got the first three, it's really hard to get the fourth one. So, I wouldn't recommend it. Titus, get out of here, you don't need that. So if he absorbs water, does that mean he would, uh, be weak to thunder then? Have to figure that out. I don't know, I didn't really read up on this very well. Usually I just go in here and attack. <laughs> I love this too, how the camera just slowly pans as the damage is dealt. It's, just, it's so epic, I don't know. Remedy times too, that's not bad either. Maybe Musk was the rare steal. Oh great. Okay, I can see why you can steal that from him. Do we have somebody with no attack power here that can get that off of her? We don't have Yuna. Let me try something. Sometimes Albed potions actually cure status ailments. I don't know about this, but no. Well, thank goodness her attack power is nothing. <laughs> yeah, you really gotta watch out for that. That's just the thing is, if he gets a wizard, you don't have to worry about that because she'll never cast magic while confused. They won't do that. They'll just physically attack. That's all they'll ever do. Element reels. Let's do it. I need to get his other overdrives. I need to play some freaking Blitzball! There you go. Kick his ass, Seabass! 1533, that was, uh... Could've been worse. Could've healed him. <laughs> here she goes. Oh, and the miss. Oh, don't get two people confused in here now. Okay, that's, that's fine. That works. Uh, we need to get rid of this guy. Orin, get your ass back in there. No, never never speak that way to Orin again, Tim. Kamari, you can uh, bring up the rear here. Can we lance at this by any chance? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, do we have sense? Oh, okay, there's only one more hit. In that case, uh, well, Orin doesn't have another turn. Let's just get him, let's finish him off. Bum, 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 bum. That's not the only one of those you're gonna see here. There's others, so be wary of that. Poison steel. Get that treasure chest. Get that treasure chest. You can see on the map there's actually one down here, and it's very important that you get this too if you want the celestial weapons. Not this one, but this one in here. Mercury Crest. Okay, I thought there was going to be a monster in there. I was sitting there, I was going to edit out that battle and the additional one with the thing. With the thewing. There's another treasure there. I feel like I've done anything besides fight monsters, and I want to, like, do some off-screen, like, do some stealing and stuff. Like, really explore this place. And but at the same time, I don't want to be stuck. Teleport sphere, man, that's awesome. Can I? Well, let me. Ch oh, or Yuna's not with us, so there's no point. I was gonna check out the black magic sphere, see if I couldn't get something for her. Okay, go down there. You're gonna end up in the sandstorm, so don't do that. Okay, we're just about to the end of this place. In fact, I think like right here is the um what leads to the next area. But uh, do it. how much time have I got? Oh my god, 38 minutes. There's not that many battles to edit out, is there? Uh. Well, next time on Final Fantasy X, we're going to fight this thing and see what's on the other side. In the meantime, off-screen, I'm probably going to go back and save, because I'm not going to leave this thing on all night while I stand here. That's the one problem now, see? I know I said I was going to record videos and post them the same day, but with a game like this, it's going to be extremely difficult to do that, because there's not always a save point nearby. I would have thought they'd put one here, though. Huh, that's very strange. Maybe there is one here, and I just... Okay, so yeah, alright, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Take care, y'all.